Hey, hey, hey. It has been so long since I have done one of these videos. If you have been following me and have noticed, I have been doing a lot of shorts. I've been real consistent, but I've not actually done a sitting down type of form video in a while, but I'm back. I'm back. I have missed you guys and I decided that I wanted to keep the shorts going, but I'm going to bring this to you guys every day if I get a chance. Um, for the most part, if you do not know, I have been doing the 75 soft challenge. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna give you a little detail. So pretty much the 75 soft challenge is where you are for 75 days, you are exercising at least six times a week with one rest day. You are eating sensible meals, just pretty much making good uh, meal decisions and you are drinking three three liters of water. I actually am drinking a gallon of water and then you read 10 pages a day. Please go back and check all my shorts because I have uploaded a short for every single day so that you guys can catch up and get to this point today. We are currently on day number 46. Yeah! It is going so well. Overall, yes, I joined this journey so that I could lose weight, but I've gained so much more from just doing this. It has been such a great experience that I plan to keep some of this stuff going forward. The only thing I probably will change is not actually exercising. I'm sorry, yeah, not exercising seven days a week. Because even though I have been allowed to technically have one rest day, I haven't. I've been per personally pushing myself to do more because it's me versus me. I've learned so much through this journey that I am not comparing myself with anyone else. I'm not trying to be like anyone else. I'm just trying to be like me. And so for me to be, since it's me versus me, I want to push myself to another limit. After this challenge is over, I do plan to only work out five days a week and have two rest days. Not sure if that's going to be split. Not sure if I'm going to make it the weekend. I don't know. Stay tuned for that part. But overall, it has just been great. I've loved, 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 enjoyed the reading. Now, problem is I realized it works better for me to read in the morning <laughs> than it does to read in the evening because I end up falling asleep a little bit but I still get it done I knock out uh, the every box that needs to be checked and as a person who loves like to check off boxes and lists this is perfect for me so it has just been such a great great journey as I mentioned, I am on day 46, and I'm going to review that with y'all right now. So today, I started off my day um, with actually some tea, just to kind of get my body moving and grew, you know, shaking, ready for the day. And I made sure to drink, start my water early so that my metabolism can already get jump started before I even started to work out. Then around 11-ish, 11, 15-ish, I went to the gym and I did a really great uh, leg workout. If you guys want to know about my current workout split, let me know in the comments. I would love to share with you guys. I currently work out three, so I have two lower body days. I'm sorry, three lower body days and then two upper body days. Two of my lower body days are glute focused all, all around. And then one of them is more on my legs. And then the other uh, upper body is my back, my arms, um, in that area. I need to incorporate more core, so that's probably going to come next, so stay tuned for that. And then I broke my fast with some tuna, so some tuna salad and crackers. I had, and then I was like really focused on get your water and get your water. And so I was down and down and down in my water. And then um, before I was getting ready to leave, because I had to run some errands with my girls, my daughters. And so I had another, uh, another serving of the tuna salad and crackers because I was on the go and I was leaving at the door. And I needed to make sure I ate something so I could start my intermittent fasting. That's another thing. I am currently intermittent fasting. If you're not familiar with that, it's pretty much where you fast for a certain period of time. And then you have an eating window. So I am currently fasting for 16 hours. And then my eating window is 8 hours. 
I typically do not have it. I typically do not leave it open for eight hours. I always seem to start eating late and I try to always close it before six o'clock just because I like the opportunity to open my window early. Doesn't mean I'm gonna probably eat at that time. It never fails. I always eat it closer to like 12, one, but I like the idea that if I'm having a hungry day, I can start eating at 10. So let me know in the comments if you're doing intermittent fasting and if so, which one? I think it's going great. It has really disciplined me to not eat so much. And I recognize I could go longer. Like today, I think I went 20, hmm, 20 hours, 20, almost 21 hours of fasting. And I was fine. But by the time that 21 almost hour hit, I was like, okay, now it might be time to eat. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And then um, I'm currently reading the... Um, Michelle Obama book Becoming. I have started it and got halfway through, but I never finished it. So this time I'm like, I'm going to finish this book because it's a really good book. I just stopped reading it and it was hard to get back. So I'm at the part where she is getting married to Obama. So it's just a really good book. If you haven't read it, please try it out if you're interested um if you would like more recommendations on books I, this is actually the third book i'm finishing so yes read let me know if you guys want to know with some book suggestions because i have been really enjoying the books that i have been reading and then um that's pretty it. much it i finished my water by 7 p.m woohoo because water seems to be the one thing that kind of takes me a while to get through. If I start really early and I make sure I'm consuming a lot of water when I'm working out, it's usually going to be a good day because I'm going to finish real early. But if I don't down enough water during my workout, I'm more than likely going to be lollygagging on water and I'm going to be finishing late in the night. And you already know that I means I'm going to be interrupting my sleep because I'm going to go into the restroom. So yes, yes, yes. Um, if you're interested in hearing more about the 75 soft or you want to join, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. But I will surely, surely, surely be back tomorrow for day 47. It has been going so well. I can't believe that we are more than halfway through. And I plan to keep up a lot of this stuff going forward. So even though it's, this challenge is 75 days, I'm probably going to keep showing days even after that. I appreciate you guys once again so much for watching and may God continue to bless you and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.